Hey, hey guys, it's Frax here. Um, I have just spent 4,800 shards um, unlocking the tier 2 boss. So that means that you go to guild and <laughs> I've spent 8,000 shards, nearly 9,000 shards on this guild all by myself. Um, Woohoo! So I'm guild 4 now. I believe? No, guild 3? Guild 3. Um, guild 4 will be 10,800 shards, so I don't think I'll be getting that anytime soon. But, however, what that means is that I can now attempt to fight boss 2. And I figured, well, I'm going to let you guys see my first ever attempt of uh, boss 2 uh, solo. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have druid tank and I think I'm going to put oh well obviously I'm going to need champion for the stun and I'm going to take thunder god out and I'm going to put in my succubus just to uh, just to hmm I wanna, I'm going to use succubus to l lower the boss's damage but if that doesn't work I'm going to use my paladin to tank Alright, here we go. But I'm not sure if they're 1.5 extra stun. We'll find out. We're going to try and rotate Succubus, Paladin, and Thunder God, and uh, the Minotaur. The bull. The big bull. Alright, so here we go. First attempt. Tier 2 boss. Here we go. Uh, event. Dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum. There he is. Okay. Activate it, 300 shards. Okay, here we go. Same tactic. Druid. And drop, 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 drop. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know if I needed to leave then or not. My druid just got hit really hard. Uh, I got scared. Okay, let's try again. Drop, 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 drop. Oh, it's a big hit. Oh, stun him, someone, please. Please. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, those are some big numbers he's pumping out on the team here. It's looking good. It's looking good. My druid's only just healing through it. All right. All right. So, the reason why I put Succubus in is because Succubus nerfs that boss's damage, and... I think that's what's keeping me alive right now. Um, it looks like I might be able to take on take on boss two. Uh, we will see. Um, we will see what happens. Uh, his health bar is not moving at uh, whatsoever. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how much health he's got. We'll we'll see um, as it gets we get to the end. But um. Oh my gosh! I just do in, I do insane damage with the Cupid and the um, and the Pumpkin Duke. Before I brought Cupid into my team, I was doing 12 million damage on boss boss one. Now with Cupid, I do 22 million. So he literally pretty much doubled my damage. Having that Cupid there doubled my damage. It was just and my Cupid's only four of nine, so he's only giving 25 percent more damage. But for some reason. That was all I needed. I think. I think what happens is because the Cupid. Um, I think what's not often talked about. Well, maybe it is. I just didn't realise. The Cupid also gives energy, of course. And so what that means is that your Pumpkin Duke is getting more double stacks. You know what I mean? Like so, your Pumpkin Duke procs, and then the Cupid procs, and the Pumpkin Duke procs again. So you get more double stacks. I'm really impressed that my team's taking on Boss Two here. That's uh. The shore is a battle. It's only five heroes, so once I get that six hero in there, it will be even more exciting. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's my uh, little champion hitting 26 Ks with 200% damage. I really like that my, my champion hits a perfect 200% double damage with his special. So if he's hitting 32 K, um, that means that his normal hits are going for half of that so what's he doing like 16k dps that's just my champion so everyone's doing about 16k dps on this guy with the occasional 35k proc 
But uh, we'll see how much damage we did to him come the end of this. And uh, we'll try we'll try it without the succubus and see if it's possible without the succubus. I don't think it's going to be. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Alright. Cool, so I did 28 million damage. That is damage. That is what I'm talking about. Wow. Okay. Alright. So it's got 80 million health. That's pretty insane. Um, I might let my guild know. Doing boss. Doing boss. Now, if you'd like some HP. <laughs> not sure if anyone's online. I'm not that active in my guild, but hey, at least I tried, right? Okay, so let's swap the succubus out for the thunder god. And uh, what this will mean is it will mean more damage because my thunder god hits 35k with his proc, and he's got he's level 139, so it's just more damage, but maybe less survivability. We'll try. Ben. Uh, Okay. Druid. And drop, 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 drop. Thunder God Frog. Oh gosh. Ow. Oh, so it's 9k instead of 7.2. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so that succubus really helps. As you saw there. We'll just uh, gem this guy. And we'll try again. Hopefully we can pray for some RNG. Go drop, 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 drop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't see my druid's health. Oh, oh. I don't know if he's living. He's li- Wow. Wow. <laughs> a big hit. We made it! I think that's really sketchy when those big 9k's come out. So what you're seeing here is that the succubus ability um, actually uh, nerfs the boss's special as well which is really really handy. But my 8 star druid who I just ranked up is really helping with those 7.2k heals. And he's... yeah. So... It'd be interesting to see. So I get an extra 1.5 second stun with the uh, Thunder God. Um, so you, the boss is stunned for longer. However, when the boss does hit, he hits harder. So it'd be interesting to see where there's more damage mitigation with the Succubus or the Thunder God. Uh, from just visually looking, I would say there's more damage mitigation with the Succubus. Um, who's only 3 of 9. But yeah. So we did 28 million damage with the Succubus. Let's see how much damage we do with the Thunder God. I also wonder though, if the boss is hitting, hitting my team harder, whether that means he is um, inflating their specials faster. Does that make sense? So if they receive more damage, does that mean they get more energy in return? I'm not sure. These are all questions I'll, I'll hopefully be able to answer in the near future, so I think they're very interesting questions. Okay, so, see my Thunder God hits 35. And there was two 35s there, and there's my champion hitting 35. Because skills can hit, give or take, 10%, apparently. I'm pretty sure, yeah. If you weren't, if you weren't familiar with that, um, there's like a damage factor on your, on your numbers. You can hit 10% higher or 10% lower than what's said on the tooltip. That's why I'm not sure if you've been in an arena and you've had a DPS race with someone and they've won just by a smidgen and then you face them again and then you win. It's because of the, uh, the random sort of damage factor. Alright, so we're bringing him down, bringing him down. Boom, 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 boom. And hopefully we did more than 28 mil. If we didn't, well then there's no need to use the Thunder God. But again, it could be that damage thing. Up or down 10%. Okay. 28 mil. Oh, it's pretty similar. I can't remember the exact number, but it, they're both in the 28s, so there's not too much difference there. 
Uh, what I might finally do is put the Paladin in because the Paladin now supposedly can just chain his shield and that's something I've really been wanting to test because normally what would happen is the Paladin would go in and he would get his shield and then he would sit on max energy you know like like the Cupid does he would sit on full energy and he wouldn't cast his shield but now apparently he just chains his shield so let's find out drop 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 is he gonna live? who knows so he's got a shield up yeah he just chains it I'm pretty sure it's not the best angle we'll zoom in here shield drops shields pretty much back straight back up yeah that's pretty remarkable yeah that's definitely he would so there's only like maybe like a second gap which is like as soon as so it drops and then it's up again and like half a second so yeah that's that's such a great improvement that actually makes the paladin really strong so he's just sitting there taking 60% less damage just constantly but he's sitting on full health it means nothing to him I love it because the Paladin, I think, is the, one of the coolest heroes in the game. He's the he's the bomb. He rocks. He's he got a shield. I love shield and sword. I love play mail. Like when I play um, Oblivion or Skyrim or something, I always rock heavy armor, shield, and one-handed sword. I think it's just it's so cool. It's so gallant. So the Paladin's actually my favorite hero in the game. So I might be bringing him back just for because he's viable now. Like that's legit. He's tanking that boss like nothing. There's no stress. He just sits there. He's got Berserk as well, 4 or 5, so he does alright damage. We'll see how much damage we did with Paladin at the end. It'll be interesting to see. He goes pretty hard. But yeah, yeah. that's probably my safest option. So I think if I ever do boss 3, I'll be doing it with a Paladin tank. Of course the champion always stays. We're really interested to see uh, what a six hero would be like. Like, I really want to get Snowzilla. I think it would just be. I think I could get Snowzilla strong enough to just hit 35k with every single one of his snowballs, and I'd just love to see 35, 35, 35, 35 just spraying into the boss. I think that would be some outrageous damage. I'm not sure whether to put a Snowzilla in for my six member or maybe an Immortep. I don't have an Immortep, but I can get him eventually. I think Snowzilla would be more more DPS. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting to see. Well, here we have it, guys. Uh, we're going to bring him down with 30 seconds to spare. Um, we saw a Succubus, a Thunder God, and a Paladin. Um, the Paladin is now great that he can chain his shield. And that is my first time ever defeating the Tier 2 boss. First attempt. Challenge successful. 6,000 HP, so is 6,000 HP worth 300 shards? It's debatable. I might just stay farming boss one. It's not the it's not the biggest uh, step up. But uh, there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is the tier 2 boss defeated by Frax. First time ever. Alright, see ya.